Hey, before we get to weather and sports, want to show you a picture. Check out this fish. It's a monster. It's a whopper. It's reported as a 20 pound, eight ounce German brown that was caught and released by Paul Gonzalez in Rush Creek near Silver Lake in the June Lake Loop on October 25th. I talked to a buddy of mine who's pretty much an expert on fish. He says, I'm not sure that's 20 pounds, but that's a big one. OK, we tried to get some more information on that, but as of news time, didn't get that. We obviously know that is a big fish photo courtesy of monocounty.org. Let's go to the weather map. Sierra Wave Media forecaster Dennis Mattinson noting the slight warming temperatures as low pressure moves eastward toward the Rockies. Thursday, an eastern Pacific ridge migrating eastward from the Sierra into western Nevada. So nice weather for the next few days. Then later Saturday, a short wave kicks through the Pacific Northwest bringing cooler temperatures, windy conditions and some clouds overhead. Slight chance of a little precipitation in Mono County depending on the system's track. High amplitude ridge builds in thereafter for more warmer weather. Low tonight into tomorrow morning for Mammoth 20 degrees, Bishop and the Owens Valley 34 degrees. Mammoth June Mono County on Thursday. Lots of sunshine. Maybe a little north wind going to blow 5 to 10 miles an hour. 57 the high in Mammoth. Low of about 22 degrees. Friday, lots of sunshine, just some light wind. 62 the high in the town of Mammoth Lakes. Low of about 22. And continuing with sunny skies on Saturday. Maybe a little southwest wind through Mono County. 5 to 10 miles an hour. 60 the expected high in Mammoth. Low of about 22 degrees. For Bishop and the Owens Valley on Thursday. Sunny skies, light wind with a high of about 70 degrees, low of about 34 degrees. Warming up a bit on Friday with sunny skies for the valley, light wind, 75 the expected high in Bishop, low of about 34 degrees. And boy, Saturday looking nice too. Sunny skies, maybe a little southwest wind out there, 5 to 10 miles an hour, 75 the expected high in Bishop with a low of about 33 degrees. So we'll continue with some nice fall weather after that one snowstorm that just blew through. huh? Let's go to some sports and well, I want to take a look at some file footage here of the Mammoth High School girls varsity volleyball team. Huge match coming up for the Huskies on Thursday, traveling to Lancaster to take on Desert Christian. Now the Mammoth Huskies right now they got their destiny in their hands to take the Desert Mountain League title. Mammoth Huskies coached by John Morris, 9-1 and one in Desert Mountain League play. They have four matches left. Again, Thursday at Desert Christian and then three after that. Now, Desert Christian is 10-2, and two, recently just lost to Desert. That's two losses by Desert Christian to Desert. Meanwhile, the Desert Scorpions are 11-2, and two, and both of the Scorpions' losses are to the Mammoth Huskies. And again, as we're looking at some file footage here from the Mammoth Huskies, we'll note that since both Desert Christian and Desert have two losses. Mammoth with just one. The Huskies, as we said, control their destiny toward the Desert Mountain League title. When we talked to Coach John Morris today, he said, boy, we've just got a really nice team. He's all not really a most valuable player among us, but he's all we got a bunch of good role players. They know what they need to do. No divas on this team. He said they all understand their roles. It's a good mix of girls. They've been playing together a long time, too. Any of the top three players, according to Coach Morris, how about Kelly Berger, middle hitter, and middle blocker. Also, his daughter, Cassidy Morris. She's a setter. And also for the Mammoth Huskies, Kira Schultz, defensive specialist and libero. Coach Morris said all three of those girls, unique, unique positions in the team and really helped to make the Huskies successful this year. Other players that have been seeing a lot of playing time and really helping out the Huskies. Amanda Kirkaby, Jade Wu, Kira McKee, Haley Sanders. She might be the most improved player this year, according to Coach Mo Morris. Sabrina Clevenger and Callie Moat. And again, we're looking at the Mammoth Huskies. Some nice volleyball already this season. And Mammoth at 9-1. and one. If the Huskies can win at Desert Christian on Thursday and then win out against Lone Pine, Vasquez, and Mojave, Huskies would claim the Desert Mountain League title. Ah, Lone Pine's the final game, and you just know that the Golden Eagles would love to knock off their Eastern Sierra and Desert Mountain League rival Mammoth Huskies if it comes down to that. But again, coming up tomorrow, huge match, Desert Christian in Lancaster. Should the Huskies lose and then win out, probably going to have a three-way tie with all three teams with two losses and all beating each other, well, somewhat twice. So let's just hope the Mammoth Huskies can get a win tomorrow and come home with a 
good shot at winning the Desert Mountain League title. We're going to call that a look at sports news information weather here on Sierra Wave TV. You know we're part of Sierra Wave Media. You can hear our radio station, 92.5 FM, 96.5 FM. Stream it on our website, sierrawave.net. Have a great evening, everybody. Good night.